Hello. So this application will allow you to track your expenses directly from your task and all the expenses created will be linked to your task itself. So for that, we have to first make sure that we have given the user access rights to the user who will be generating the expense. For that, we need to go to settings. We will go to manage users. And under the users that you have selected, you need to enable the generate expense setting. Once that is done, you can go back to your project and you can go back to your already created tasks. You can either create an expense of the task that you have uh, already created or else you can just create a new task and then you can add the expense as well. So let's say I want to create an expense for this particular task. So I will go to the task and I will use the expense button here. Here I have different categories that is communication, others, meals, gifts, mileage, travel and accommodation. So you can choose either of them. Let's say I use travel and accommodation and it was for uh, two people and how much it cost me per person was uh, 5000. Let's say and per person it was 5000. So I will add the date and I will save this. I will create that expense and as soon as you create the expense, a smart button will be visible over here that will show you the number of expenses linked to this particular task. So if I again create an expense for this particular task, the number here will be 2. So let's go to this expense. Here you see we have 10,000 that was 5,000 per person. Now if I click on that, I will be able to attach the receipt here as well. And I also have other options that is uh, whom it was paid by. If it was employee, we need to reimburse it. Uh, was it company? We can add that details as well. You can also change the expense date again here from and you can also add the account. So once you have uh, referred all the details, you can create the report of the expense. So let's create the report. Once that is done, this is how it will look like, so like your default expense. Now you have the option to submit it to manager. Let's do that. And the manager will then approve. Once you approve that, you also have the option to post the journal entries. So you can click on post journal entries. Once that is done, journal entries will be created. You can see the journal entry in the smart button over here. You can see the journal items. Now let's create the payment. Let's register the payment. You can add the recipient bank account details from here and let's create the payment. Once the payment is created, you'll be able to see your journal entries in your accounting and you'll be able to see the expenses status as paid. If I go here again in my task, let's say I want to create another expense for this particular task. So let's create a new expense. Maybe it was for meals. So let's say there were two people and each costed me 200 and I will add the date and I will save this. Once it's created, I will go to my expense and I will go to the one that is yet to be submitted. Here you can attach the receipt, but another interesting uh, option here is to split the expense. So I can also split this expense if I want to. So let's do that. I want to split ex uh, this expense between uh, Mitchell and one another employee, let's say Anita. So you can split between those two employees and I will split the expense. Once the exp expense is splitted, let's go to my expense. You can see Anita, uh, you can see the expense of Anita from here. Uh, she needs to pay 200. We need to pay, the company needs to pay her 200 because the expense was split. So you can attach the report receipt as well or else you can just create a report for Anita directly from here. And then it's the same drill. We need to submit it to manager. It will be approved and then you can post journal entries and then you can register the payment as well. So once the payment is registered, you can see, let's go to our expenses of the task. It's been paid. Similarly, you can also create another expenses for all your multiple tasks. If let's go back to our expense and here you can see we have three expenses. 
because we are yet to pay the expense for Mitchell. So if I go to Mitchell, I will also create the report for Mitchell's expense. That was the mill that we split it between Anita and Mitchell. And I will submit to manager. I will approve this and I will post the journal entries. So whenever you split, uh, split the expense, you will be able to see the expense of the two employees between uh, or the multiple number of employees between whom you have uh, split the expense. You will be able to see all the expenses under expense itself. So right now here we have three expense. One was for Mitchell. Uh, this one also was for Mitchell and this was for Anita. So uh, yes, this is uh, the application where you can create expenses directly from your task. I hope this video was helpful. And if you have any queries regarding anything, you can leave your queries in the comment section below and we will get back to you with a solution. Also, do not forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel for more Odoo related content. Until then, thank you.